Hi, Ray here. It's great to see you. And I hope it's warmer where you are than it is in my studio tonight. This short video is by way of a thank you to the folks at Atomus, who just gave us firmware update 1061 for the Atomus Ninja 5. The update features a number of changes and improvements, but for my purposes, the addition of time lapse is what topped my wish list. Since I began using the Ninja 5 not long ago, I've been working slowly on a series of clips comparing in camera 8 bit recording on the Nikon Z6 and external 10 bit log recording to the Ninja. Gee, it's too bad, I've said to myself. I couldn't compare the Z6's auto time lapse function with 10 bit log. It seems that Animus was listening. Ten six one added the ability to record a time-lapse sequence into a single video file, like the Z cameras and other Nikon cameras that I've used before, but via the Ninja. Recordings are possible in ProRes, DNX, and ProRes RAW, if you have that option, over HDMI or SDI, more on the latter later. And incidentally, the Nikon Z camera owners will have to send their cameras in for the factory modification to enable ProRes RAW recording. To update the Ninja 5, download the latest firmware from Atomos onto your computer, plug in the SSD, and drag the file onto it. Plug the disk back into the Ninja, and it automatically updates the device. Once it's done, the Ninja will power down. Now, when you turn it back on, the device interface will give you a new option. There it is, time lapse. You can define the capture sequence by changing the number of frames, seconds captured, every frames, seconds, minutes, hours, for the duration specified in frames, seconds, minutes, hours. This is even more intuitive than the Z cameras interface. It's so easy to set up. Now you have a little clock-like icon here to start recording. And use this rather than your camera to control the time lapse. Otherwise the recording will start, but not stop when the duration is complete and you'll have to cancel it on the camera or the Ninja 5. Within minutes I was out the door to perform some tests. Now the conditions weren't ideal, but the following clips will give an idea of the potential. For my purposes, I've been using my Nikons in this way for some time, since about 2011, I think it was. And it's a great way to quickly create time-lapse clips. Now, the other features of the update include compatibility mode for both HDMI and SDI inputs to improve signal locking from certain cameras, additional features for AtomX, optional SDI module, Activation key for RAW over SDI functionality over the Atomex SDI module, and you'll pay extra for that. And so on. I won't go into all the details here because some I'm not familiar with, and time lapse. <laughs> so here's a few more preliminary tests of the new Atomus Ninja 5 internal time lapse function. After all, that's what this video is all about, right?
hope you enjoyed this quick look at the Atomus Ninja 5 time-lapse function. If you found the video helpful or entertaining, give it a thumbs up please, and if you're new to my channel, please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss new content. And maybe check out some of my other videos right over here. See you later. Take care of yourself.